everybody this is dimple here again welcoming you all back to my next tutorial on android framework components in our previous session we were discussing on the concept of verified boot in android and in today's session also we will continue with the same discussion so uh, to summarize what exactly is this verified boot it's nothing but in simple words verified boot is a google security check added on every android device to prevent any attackers or hackers from making uh, any modifications to your uh, operating system and uh, corrupting your android device okay it's preventing us from hackers and uh, other people who try to steal uh, private information secure information from our android phone that is one part of the verified boot now one more function provided by this verified boot is that it will ensure rollback protection that means it will prevent downgrades downgrades to lower versions of android like marshmallow lollipop kitkat so why this verified boot is aiming at preventing downgrades because in the lower versions of android uh, the google security checks were not that prominent google is making user data more secure from every version to version okay from every version it's releasing it's concentrating on security as the most prominent aspect okay in the lower versions security is not that much given importance so that's why when whenever we downgrade to those lower versions like kit kat lollipop marshmallow okay uh, we can when we get a hand of it when we have that operating system hackers can do anything okay so that is why preventing um, downgrade to those uh, lower versions of android is one of the functions of verified boot so that the device will not be downgraded and it will be on the safer side also verified boot aims uh, to force the attacker into persisting state via outside the operating system okay so uh, whenever attacker tries to do something all the data whatever he is using that will be provided in the user data partition so the attacker is made to use only user data partition no other partition like system boot recovery all these partitions are not accessible by any attacker so he will always land on this user data partition um, which is very safe because this partition will be wiped away when we do a factory reset and uh, during boot uh, the android will warn the user if the operating system has been modified so sometimes the uh, boot uh, device boot will not be successful the device will be stuck up so that is the time when the user can decide that something has went wrong few times the android will show uh, relevant errors also so uh, this is the concept of verified boot i hope you have all understood i just summarized until now whatever i had explained in my previous uh, session uh, in today's session we will see an additional uh, concept called dm verity how is this dm verity related to uh, verified boot in android so uh, android supports verified boot through optional device mapper verity so dm stands for device mapper this is a kernel feature and it will provide transparent integrity checking of block devices now when some feature is provided by google we need to have some tag right to see if that feature is enabled or disabled supported or not supported similarly google has supported this android verified boot right so now how will we come to know if this verified boot is uh, enabled or disabled it's running or no to come to know that we use this tag called dm verity dm verity is uh, same as a verity few people use only verity concept so this is a tag which helps us to know if uh, um, android verified boot is enabled or disabled and it also uh, helps prevent persistent root kits that can hold to the root privileges so um, dm verity uses a hash tree to perform integrity checks of individual data blocks okay uh, we can see here the roots of these hash trees are signed with rsa keys so what dm verity uh, will do dm verity feature it will let you look at a block 
device the underlying storage layer okay and it will tell uh, if it matches the expected configuration so the cryptographic hash tree here is the hash tree where it will uh, check the signature all those things okay for that we use dm verity feature a public key is included on the boot partition which must be verified externally by the device manufacturer now if i am a device manufacturer i will define a particular public key and that public key i will include in my boot partition in the code android build code okay so that key is the one used to verify the signature for the hash and confirm the device system partition is protected and unchanged so for uh, in the boot uh, partition i will store a key and from there onwards at every step whenever the uh, android booting process is there whenever i am loading the system image kernel uh, boot image other images at every step a check will be made okay there is a hash tree maintained for that which will include all the related uh, secure keys and these keys will be using sha256 hash algorithm so that is what is dm verity so dm verity will help me to uh, map actually a uh, dm verity will contain the hash key okay hash key of what hash key it's nothing but it's an address of the memory where all my images will be stored so when that key and the images are matching only then uh, the very, uh, the booting will be allowed further otherwise the boot lo bootloader will be locked okay the booting will not proceed Uh, so next we will see command to disable dm verity so we have to use adb disable verity to disable the verified boot process okay if i don't want my android phone to use this uh, android verified boot feature that time i can disable through adb uh, disable verity but we have to be the root user okay uh, the normal user cannot use this command we have to be the root user one example i'll tell you uh, last week uh, i was trying to push some apk into the system partition i was the root user and i was trying to push the apk to the system partition and i was not allowed to make this modifications because uh, dm verity uh, sorry uh, the verified boot was enabled so then i used this command adb disable verity i uh, disabled the check of verified boot on my device once verified boot i have disabled only then i was allowed to access the uh, system partition only then i was allowed to give the uh, right permission to make some modification in the system partition uh, obviously command to enable dm verity is adb enable verity just use disable and enable if you want to switch between uh, android verified boot and if you don't want it you can disable it so uh, that's what in this tutorial i have explained the concept of uh, dm verity and a few commands to enable and disable i hope this was informative and helpful thank you everyone i'll see you all soon in my next session Uh, in my next session i'll explain how this hash techniques and all this uh, key matching will work so take care